What if I told you the movie Lucy got it all wrong? Yes, the Lucy movie. You know, the one where Scarlett Johansson becomes a superhuman genius by unlocking 100% of her brain. Sounds incredible, right? But what if I told you the science behind it isn't just wrong, it's laughably wrong? And yet, hidden in the realm of science and human potential, there might actually be a way to achieve something similar. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll discover the truth behind the myths, the science and even stories of real people who claim to have mastered their minds in ways you won't believe. But first, let's talk about Lucy. In the movie, Lucy is an ordinary woman who gets caught up in a drug deal gone wrong. A mysterious substance called CPH4 ends up in her system, supposedly allowing her to unlock 100% of her brain's capacity. As the story unfolds, Lucy gains abilities like telekinesis, superhuman intelligence, and even time manipulation. By the end, she essentially becomes omnipresent, merging with the universe itself. It's a wild ride, no doubt. And for many of us, it sparks a thrilling question. What if we could unlock the full potential of our brains? What if we could achieve limitless intelligence, superhuman abilities, and transcend the boundaries of what it means to be human? But here's the thing. Lucy is built on a lie. The idea that we only use 10% of our brain? It's a myth. A persistent, Hollywood-fueled myth. And today we're going to bust it wide open. Let's start with the facts. The notion that humans only use 10% of their brains has been around for over a century. It's often attributed to misinterpretations of early neuroscience research or even motivational speakers trying to inspire people to tap into their hidden potential. But modern science has shown us, time and time again, that this idea is completely false. Here's why. Brain imaging technology, like fMRI and PET scans, has revealed that nearly all parts of the brain have some level of activity, even when we're at rest. Whether you're solving a math problem, listening to music, or simply daydreaming, your brain is working hard. Different regions handle different functions, motor control, sensory processing, memory, emotions, and more. Even the simplest tasks light up multiple areas of the brain. In fact, if you were only using 10% of your brain, you'd likely be in a coma. Our brains are energy hogs, consuming about 20% of the body's total energy. Evolution wouldn't have shaped such a resource-intensive organ if we were only using a tiny fraction of it. So where did this myth come from? Some say it traces back to a misquote of psychologist William James, who suggested that humans only use a small part of their mental and physical resources. Others believe it was a misunderstanding of early brain lesion studies where damage to certain areas didn't seem to affect behaviour, leading researchers to assume those regions were unused. Whatever the origin, the myth stuck. It's alluring, isn't it? The idea that we have untapped potential just waiting to be unlocked? But what if I told you? there might actually be a way to achieve what Lucy did. Not by unlocking some mythical 90%, but by understanding the true potential of the human mind. We'll get to that in a moment. First, let's dive into something fascinating. The field of parapsychology. Parapsychology is the study of phenomena that can't be explained by conventional science. Things like telepathy, precognition and psychokinesis. For decades, researchers have explored whether the human mind has abilities that go beyond our current understanding. Take telepathy, for example. While mainstream science remains sceptical, experiments like the Gansfeld studies have shown intriguing results. In these studies, participants in isolated environments attempted to transmit images or thoughts to one another. The results? Some argue they're better than chance, suggesting that something might be happening. Then there's meditation and mindfulness. These aren't fringe ideas, they're backed by hard science. Studies have shown that regular meditation can physically change the brain, increasing grey matter in areas associated with learning, memory and emotional regulation. It's not telekinesis, but it's a real, measurable way to enhance your mental capabilities. But let's circle back to Lucy. In the movie, Lucy gains her abilities through a synthetic drug. While we don't have a magic pill to unlock superhuman powers, there's a growing field of research into neuroenhancement, using technology, drugs, and even brain stimulation to boost cognitive function. For instance, nootropics, often called smart drugs, are substances that can improve memory, focus, and creativity. Some are natural, like caffeine and L-theanine, 
while others are synthetic. While they won't turn you into a superhuman, they're a step toward enhancing mental performance. And what about brain-machine interfaces? Companies like Neuralink are developing technology that could one day allow us to control devices with our thoughts, enhance our memories, or even communicate telepathically. It's still in its early stages, but the potential is staggering. Now remember when I said there might be a way to achieve what Lucy did? Here's the key. It's not about unlocking unused parts of your brain. It's about mastering the parts you already use. Think about it. Throughout history, there have been individuals who seem to possess extraordinary mental abilities. People like Nikola Tesla, who claimed to visualize entire inventions in his mind before building them. Or Buddhist monks who can slow their heart rates and control their body temperature through meditation. And then there are the stories of savants. Individuals with incredible abilities in math, music or art, often linked to unique brain structures or conditions. Take Daniel Tammet, who can recite Pi to over 22,000 digits and learn new languages in days. Or Kim Peek, the inspiration for Rain Man, who could read two pages of a book simultaneously and remember everything he read. These aren't fictional characters. They're real people who have tapped into the potential of their minds in ways that defy explanation. But what happens when people achieve this? When individuals push the boundaries of their mental capabilities, the results can be astonishing. Enhanced memory, faster learning, heightened creativity. These are just the beginning. In some cases, people report experiencing a flow state, a mental state where they're fully immersed and performing at their peak. Athletes, artists and scientists alike have described this phenomenon where time seems to slow down and everything clicks into place. And then there's the darker side. Some who delve too deeply into their minds report feelings of isolation, existential dread or even madness. After all, the human brain is as mysterious as it is powerful. Now, let's talk about the cutting edge projects exploring these ideas. At the forefront is the Human Brain Project, a massive European initiative aimed at simulating the human brain using supercomputers. By understanding how the brain works at a fundamental level, researchers hope to unlock new treatments for neurological disorders and perhaps even enhance cognitive abilities. Meanwhile, DARPA, the US military's research arm, is developing brain-computer interfaces that could give soldiers enhanced situational awareness or even allow them to control drones with their thoughts. And then there's the world of artificial intelligence. As AI becomes more advanced, some researchers believe it could help us augment our own intelligence, creating a symbiotic relationship between humans and machines. But what about the people who've already claimed to master their minds? One fascinating example is Wim Hof, also known as the Iceman. Hof has demonstrated an extraordinary ability to withstand extreme cold, climb mountains in shorts, and control his autonomic nervous system through breathing techniques and meditation. Scientists have studied him extensively, and while not all of his claims are fully understood, there's no denying his abilities are remarkable. Then there's Yogi Pralad Jani, who claimed to survive without food or water for decades, sustained solely by meditation and spiritual energy. While his claims remain controversial, they highlight the potential of the human mind to push the boundaries of what we consider possible. And let's not forget historical figures like Leonardo da Vinci, who seemed to possess an almost supernatural ability to master diverse fields of knowledge, from art to engineering to anatomy. So, what's the takeaway? The movie Lucy might have gotten the science wrong, but it got one thing right, the human mind is a source of endless wonder and potential. While we may never unlock 100% of our brains because we're already using all of it, there are still ways to enhance our abilities, push our limits and achieve what once seemed impossible. And if you found this video fascinating, you'll love our deep dive into the creepiest Annabelle story you've ever heard. The terrifying reality behind the Annabelle doll will leave you questioning what's real and what's not. What do you think? Do you know someone who's achieved extraordinary mental feats? Or do you have your own story to share? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you.